Starting on your spine, take up as much space as you like, arms wide. And walk your heels in towards your glutes. And using your ujjayi breath in and out of the nose. So finding space between the jaw. Trying not to clench in the face. And allow your palms to be face up to the sky. Shoulders press into the mat. Nice and open to receive. Spread through your fingers. Reach them a little longer. And then soften the backs of the hands to the earth. Find a bit of length in the back of your neck. Tuck your chin to your chest. And then maybe rock the head no from side to side. Massage in the back of the head. And take an ear over to one shoulder, find some length on the other side of the neck. And then bring the ear over to the other shoulder, find length in the neck. Head comes back to center. Draw your first knee into your chest, give it a little squeeze just to see what the hip is speaking to you. And then plant that foot down, reach your arms overhead, find some space between the spine and the mat. And then draw the other knee into your chest, give it a squeeze. And reaching the arms overhead, find that space again. And then move from side to side, drawing one knee in, flexing the foot, and then planting the heel down. We'll move through that with our own breath. Working on warming up the abdominals as well. Getting everything moving in the intestines. The next time you draw your leg in, this time we're going to lengthen that leg up to the sky. So you place the hands behind the thigh and point and flex a few times through the foot. And then lower that foot down, reach your arms overhead. Lengthen the leather leg up to the sky, and raise your hands behind the thigh again, point and flex. And then lower that foot down, reach your arms overhead, exaggerate that space now that you're creating. Put your hands back down by your sides and allow your knees to lift up in towards your chest. But the knees are then going to come above the hips at a 45 degree and flex in your feet. Press your hands into your thighs. The thighs are going to press back in your hands. Feel that strength of the core. And then lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Space between chin and chest. Lower head and shoulders back down. We're working with counts of six today. Lift your head and shoulders off. And lower. Try not to strain the neck. Inhale to lift. And lower. Halfway, inhale, lift, draw your navel to spine. And lower. Two more, inhale, lift. And lower. One more, inhale, lift, hug your elbows to your ribs. Press your hands to thighs and lower. Cross one ankle over top of thigh, coming into your reclined pigeon. Interlace the hands behind your thigh. Flex through both feet. Maybe give a little rock with the spine, side to side.
Whatever the top ankle that you cross, let's drop the knees in the direction of that top knee. So if your right ankle is crossed, you're gonna drop it to the right. And vice versa, finding your supine twist with that support. If you are looking away from the knees, bring your head back to center. And let's bring the knees back towards the chest, cross the opposite ankle over. Interlace the hands behind that thigh, finding your thread the needle or reverse pigeon, sorry, recline pigeon. A little rock side to side here. And when you release the bind of the hands, let's drop the knees over towards that one side in the direction of that top knee. Find your supine twist. Bring your head back to center, uncross that leg. Start to rock forward and back till you come upright. And then knee in child's pose once you're up. Take your knees by your big toes together. Take a moment here to set your attention for your practice. And you prepared, right? <laughs> I'm asking yourself what you need from practice today. Setting it to an attention, maybe just to be present, listen to your body, find stillness. Stay as long as you need in Velocina. And if you are ready to move, we're gonna roll up the knee and tabletop. If you need to double up your mat for your knees, this is a good opportunity to do so. So we're holding up the mat. We find table, we're gonna draw our navel to our spine. Lengthen your left leg long. Bring the toes to the earth and just get a little rock forward and back. your weight back into the hip. So square up the hips, float that leg. Step that foot off your mat towards the right, so opposite. Look over your shoulder. And then lift the leg and draw your knee to your chest, cup up the spine. Lengthen your leg long. Let's do that a couple more times. Step it off your mat, look over your shoulder. Twist through the core, through the side body. Lift, knees, chest, ground your back. Lengthen your leg, step it off the mat. Using your inhale to lift, flow back to center, knee to chest. Lengthen your leg, step off the mat, keep flexing your foot. Flip the leg back, knee to chest. And lengthen, two more like that, stepping it off. Lift the leg, knee to chest. One more lengthen, step that foot off. Lifting the leg, knee to your chest, hold it here. Find that space in your shoulder blades. Lengthen your leg. 
and plant that foot back, sorry, plant the knee back down. <laughs> right leg is going to lengthen, tuck the toes, and press to your heel if you tie to lift up the hamstrings. Any time of your wrists are feeling a little tired, you can place your blocks underneath your hands. Make a tent with your hands. Try not to put too much pressure on the palms, or really focus on your L shape here, thumb and the index finger. Reactivate that core, draw your navel in, float that leg, step it off of your mat and over your shoulder. Lift it back up, knee to your chest. And extend the leg. Inhale, bring it over. Exhale, lift. Inhale, round your back. For any breath work that connects with you today, lengthen. Step it off the mat. Find that little twist. Lift center, knee to chin. Extend the leg, stepping it off, floating it back, knee and chin. Extend the leg, two more like that, step that foot off, float it back, center, knee and chin. <coughs> and extend, one more, stepping off, foot back, center, knee and chin, hold it there, pop up the spine. And lowering that knee back down. If you double up on your mat, you might want to roll it back out. From your table, you're going to lift up to your down dog. And just start to find some movement through the lower half, pedal through your feet, walk your dog. From here, you're going to come forward into your high plank, lower your knees, reset in your tabletop. Set your right leg long, tap the toes, bring the knee back. Set your left leg long, tap the toes, draw the knee back. Set your right leg long, tap the toes, knee in. Left leg long, tap the toes, knee in. One more like that, right leg, tap the toes, knee in. Left leg, tap the toes, knee in. Set the back to your plank. Right knee to your chest, step the back. Left knee to your chest, step the back. Right, step the back. Left, step the back. Right, step the back. Left, step the back. Last step, right, step the back. Left, step the back. Press up, down dog. Forward into your high plank. Lower the knees to tabletop again. If you need to readjust the hands, you're welcome to. Tuck your toes, hover your knees off the mat for hover table. Strong core. Feel as if you're balancing something on the spine. Step your right foot back, tap, knee in. Left foot back, tap, knee in. Right, knee in. Left, knee in. Two more steps. Right, knee in. Left, knee in. Last one, right. And in, left, and in. This is your tree. Press up, down dog. <laughs> I like the commentary in the studio. Good, I think. Well, maybe not for your job. <laughs> okay, round your spine. Come forward into high plank. Lower your knees to the table and take your rest of choice. Finding your child's pose. Arms long, or if you want, you can hang out a down dog. If you're ready to move, we will meet at the top of our mat to stand for a pull. Honor if you need to rest longer. And when you get to your forward pull, grab it from the opposite elbow, a little sway through the shoulders from side to side. Drop your head down, lift the back edge of your mat. Between the thighs, between the calves here. 
And then bring your left hand to the earth, bend into your left knee. So left hand's gonna come to center. Peace fingers of the right hand are gonna come into that crease of the right hip. And feel as if you're drawing your own hip up to the sky. Rotate from the chest. Then reach your arm up for your twist. So see what the dialogue is today in the right hamstring. You can use your block underneath the hands on the ground if you need to for more height. Make sure your hips stay squared, that we're not moving our weight into one side. One more breath. Nice. Exhale, lower the hand down. Inhale, half a lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, four, four, Uttanasana. Right knee is going to stay bent. Right hand at center. Left piece fingers to that crease. Draw your hip up to the sky. Rotate through the chest and then center hand. Exhale, lower the hand down. Inhale, half of it. Arm is messed up. Find your half of it. Exhale. Work it. Remove the blocks. Root to rise. Come all the way to stand. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands on top of your breath. Inhale, arms up. Take your right arm in front. Cross your left arm over. Find your eagle, eagle arms. Put your weight into your left leg and then step your right foot over so you're stacking your knees, finding Bordasana. Sit into your eagle arms, eagle legs. Knees stack, elbows stack, elbows align with shoulders. On your exhale, open up the arms and then step your right foot back, breathe into your crescent lunge. Lower the knee down. Untuck your toes. Right hand comes to the inside of your foot, left arm reaches in your twist. Lower that hand back down, tuck your toes, lift the knee. From here, you're going to pivot on the back set of toes so that you're coming into your low lunge. Left hand, the inside of right arm reaches up. As you extend through your top fingertips, try not to overreach that top arm, shoulders align. Look to your top edge of your mat. And then wiggle your arms down, step it back to plank. Take your first vinyasa, try to come to baby cobra pose so that we don't hurt our back by coming to the full expression. And then tuck your toes, glide back to down dog. Find your way to the top of your mat, whether it's hopping or stepping forward. Inhale, half the lift. And exhale, forward fold. Reach your right to all the way. Exhale, hands to heart. Should be our left hand this time, right? Can we front? Right arm crosses over. Bend into your elbows, elbows align. And then wave into your right leg, the left knee is going to cross over. So the knees and equal arms, equal legs. If I have messed up on the right and left, I don't know what the second one feels right with the arm, at least. <laughs> Release the hands, hands to your hips, step back into your lunge, and then lower your knee down. Untuck your toes, left hand down, right arm reaches in your twist. Keep hugging your front thigh towards you. And on your exhale, lower that hand down, frame your foot, tuck the toes, pivot on the back foot. So right hand comes to the inside, find your lunge. You may have to heel toe that back foot to the arch to align the front heel. Again, keep reaching through those top fingertips, rotate through your shoulder. And then exhale, look to the top of your mat, lower the hand down. Put it on your back foot, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga. 
lifting up baby cobra. And then gliding back down. Travel up to the top of your mat, how we choose to get there. Inhale, half the lift. And exhale. Root your eyes, roll up. In, arms up. And exhale, hands curve. Full expression of starting with start A. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half the lift. And exhale, fold. Lean with the right leg, right foot steps back. Then your left leg. Bring your weight over the top of your wrist, Chaturanga Balasana. Lower down first. If the spine is ready, maybe pull cobra, but please listen to your body. Shoulders back. Press through your palms and then tuck your toes, glide back down dog. Back to our count of six. So taking your six breaths here. Let's step the right foot forward between our hands, then the left on your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. The drag, roll up. Exhale, hands to heart. And picking up the pace a little, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half a lift. And exhale. Left foot steps back this time, then your right, find your plank. Weight over top of wrist, chaturanga dandasana. Lower down first, then lift to your heart opener. Press through the thumb, press through the elbow shape. Try not to rush this pose to relax. Tuck your toes, glide back down. Rest for six. The left foot is going to lead to the top of your mat, send the rest. Inhale, half your lift. And exhale, forward fold. Reach your eyes, roll up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Take both palms to face down, roll the shoulders back, find chair pose with the kasana. Sit low with the booty, with the bum. Leave your chest open, press your big toe and your heel. Hands to prayer, so knees a little lower. And drawing your navel into your spine so that we are making sure that we're lengthening the spine. Exhale, find your forward fold. Inhale, find length. And exhale, fold. Sit into your chair again, inhale, reach your arms up, leave the kasana. Exhale, lift all the way, stand a little heart with your back bend. Bring your hands back to prayer back center. Two more times like that. Inhale, arms up. Reach your arms in front. Exhale. Sit the foot to Kasana. Hold the knees in towards each other for holding the imaginary block. Hands to prayer. Sit a little lower. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, by leg. And exhale, fold. If you want to use your block for the next one, keep it at the top of your mat. Sit low into chair. Inhale, reach your arms up. Lift all the way up to stand. Lift your back. Exhale, hands to her. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit with the kasana. This is a great opportunity to have that block in. Just using the block. Great opportunity. <laughs> a choice. Sitting a little lower if you can. Press to your toes. And exhale, forward fold, removing the block. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Sit into chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, hands on the CT. Reset your practice. Okay, let's add on to that Gordasana flow that we have. Left arm in front, right arm reaches over. Bend your elbows, palms together. Weight into your left leg, right knee stacks on your left. Sit into your chair. So left leg's going to be your support. 
Option to bring the hands to your shoulders. Release the hands first, hands to hips. Uncross that leg, step it right back to crescent. Knees are going to be lifted this time. Square up your hands in, the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer, dipping low here, maybe tap them in the inhale, finally. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Whatever breath works best for you, two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Hands to the earth, start the back to plank. Take your fingers off, touch the wrong bell. Lifting through, cobra. And let's take a rest. <laughs> rest back in shadow sense. You need to rest longer on your body and yourself right now. Otherwise, we will step up to the top of our mat, find forward fold. So we'll try to reach first tabletop, find your forward fold. You set the spine, inhale, half a lift. And exhale, forward fold. Roll all the way up, stand. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands turn. So I'm should be right arm in front, holding the tray. Left arm crosses, elbows together in the garasana. And then the wings to right leg, the left knee is going to stop. Think about your core in this posture. Press through your elbows, maybe sit a little lower. Without holding the breath, think about second in that navel. So we're engaging in that center. Releasing arms, hands to hips, left foot's going to step back into your lunge, sinking low into it, inhale up, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, lower the hands down, step the back to plank, take your vinyasa chaturanga, lifting up through cobra. Body back down dog. Six breaths and down dog. Let's float the left leg up. Set the left foot between the hands. And as you pivot on your back foot, you're going to lift all the way up your jaw center beam, window on that foot, and the arms up. Lengthen your front leg. Lift your palms. We're moving to Trikonasa, but instead of reaching with the hands today, I really want you to focus on your core. So core is strong. Reach through the core forward. So allow it to draw you forward, and then allow that hand to rest to the inside of your ankle. Stack in your shoulders. Take a little peek up to your fingertips. Remove any compression from the ribs to your hips to get a little taller. Think about rolling through that back shoulder and back hip, so right shoulder, right hip. Check in with the safety of your knees, so micro bend to your knee. all the spaces on your back here. One more breath. Look to your big toe. Keep the leg long. Inhale, lift up using your core. Exhale, exalt to that hand to reach the back of your mind. Here in your exalted, drop your shoulder away from your ear. Find a bit more length through your fingertips. Keep the front leg long, lift back to center. Then bring your hands to your hips. 
Pivot with your hips so as if you're going to face the top of your mat and step your back foot a little closer in, leading with your heart. We reach the outside of that ankle. So, right hand is going to come to the outside of left ankle. Little rotation here. If you have a block, you can always bring it to the outside of your ankle for your marker here. Front leg micro bend. So, working the glutes, working that hamstring, rotate through the chest. Listen to your body you can be reposition of the hand landed. One more breath here. Come up to the top of your mat, then into your front knee, removing your block, step it back to your plank. From your plank, keep your left leg lifted. Step your left foot over your right, look over your shoulder, get some table, bring it back. Tap the toe one more time, lift it over and draw it back. Pivot your feet to the right, find your side plank, stack your shoulders, lift your top hip. Pop can bring your bottom knee down. And raising the shapes. I'm doing them with it. Come to center, chaturanga. Lifting through cobra. Sliding back down and up. Right into that right side. Lift your right leg up. Step to the top of your mat. Wiggle your arms up. So pivot on that foot. Find your draw some of you to start. Lengthen the leg. Flip your palms. Lead with the core today. Find your shikanasana and reach forward. Right hand's going to rest the inside of your calf or your ankle. See if you can take that compression off the ribs so it's a little taller. You go from the top of your mat, front leg stays long, you need to to lift up, exalted. The back hand is rest there, take some compression again off of the ribs. Off that hip. Try not to dump all the way into that back leg. And drop right shoulder away from here, letting the knee round in the arm. Nice and proud through the heart. Two more breaths. Lift back to center. Hands to your hips. Set your back foot a little closer. On that 45 angle, think of your dressing A, take your hips to top your mat, leave your heart. Left hand is going to come to the outside of your ankle or your block. Right hand can stay on that hip for your revolve triangle, or you can reach an arm up to the sky. Even though the leg is long, try not to overextend. So it's either going to be on the camera now, try not to overextend here, micro bend in your knee. Rotations coming from the ribs. Two more breaths. Look to the top of your mat. The bed into that knee. Remove your block. Step it back to your plank. Keep your right leg lifted if you can. Set the right foot over to top. Look over your shoulder. Lift it back to center. One more time. Bring it over. Bring it back to center. Pivot the feet to the left. Find your side plank. Lift through your top hip. Option to stagger the feet or bring that bottom knee down. Shoulders alive. Line your breath here. Come back to center. Bring that set chaturanga. Either coming through your cobra, maybe you want to come up dog. Press the tops of the feet, lift the knees. And then cross back. To your down dog. Lift your left leg up, left knee to the inside of left wrist for Ika Padakasana or half pigeon. Nothing fancy, we're half pigeon today. <laughs> Press your back at four. 
And then bring your knee with your breath back. Find your expression here. Maybe start a little taller. Let you know we're halfway through this posture if you need to readjust anything. Think about right hip pressing into the top corner, left hip pressing back. You are halfway if you like a little further here. And then bring your hands back on your shoulders. Tuck your toes, press yourself up. Sweep that left leg back, give it a shake out. If you feel the need to flip your dog and step that foot over, you're welcome to. Or maybe come into puppy knee and stack your hips. You want to underneath the armpit. And then we'll float that leg back down. Lower the foot, lift your right leg up, right knee to inside the right ribs. Maybe a little peek over the shoulder, having a close the knee and then the back down. Untap your toes, drag that hip forward to the corner, and then lean with your heart. Try to avoid moving the weight into one side, try to even out the weight of your hips. What does it feel like when you press through that top foot? the left leg, and then soften it back down. If you need to make any adjustments. Bring your hands back on your shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the knee, sweep your right leg back. Now you're flipping your dog or coming to puppy peeing, stacking your hip, root through your bottom heel, rotate with the chest again. Squaring your hip up, step that foot through, followed by the other, and then half a seat, just different transition there. Coming to the center of your mat, grab, actually grab it with your palm. Keep it to the outside of the long edge and just make your way down to your spine. And we'll bring that block between our knees. If you have one, if not, don't worry, you don't need it. Those in studio, as I say, don't need it. 
You're going to use it though. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I get to be the teacher and be like, because I said so. <laughs> You're like, no, you are blocked. <laughs> be so nice to everybody else online. <laughs> From here, feet are flexed again, like we started our practice where we did the press into our thighs, knees above our hips. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. And lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Reach for your block. Remove it. Take that block. Grab the short edges. And reach the block overhead. You're going to lift up coming into that crunch. Bring the block in between the thighs. You're going to lower the head and shoulders and tap the heels down so the knees can stay bent. Inhale, we're going to lift. Remove the block. Reach it overhead. Lift it back up. Return it to the knees. Lower down, tap the heels, reach the arms. Inhale, lift. Remove the block and then move through that with your own breath. If you forget, stop or step, it's okay. You're building a little bit of our upper body strength here. If you want to tap the heels in between each round, you're welcome to. Less focus on coordination and more focus of just following the flow. Working on those lower abdominals. Two more if you can. And then one, two, lift back up, bring the block back into your knees. Hands are going to come behind your head. Keep flexing your feet, little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one, lower your head and shoulders. Take your arms up to a T, and drop your knees to one side for your supine twist. And the block falls away, that is okay. If you're looking away from the knees, bring the head back to center, float the legs, use your core, and then drop the knees to the other side, looking away. Bring your head back to center and floating the knees, removing the block, taking your legs up to the sky into Vipurita, and then lift your head up, reach for your toes, and find your way onto your mat for Shavasana. If there are any final postures you wish to take that your body is warmed up to do so, feel free to move through them. My suggestion if you do have a block is to just bring that block underneath the spine from the tailbone down. Just have a little reclined version here of the bridge pose. Arms open.
be proud of your work, proud of your practice. Have fully settle in yet, make sure you close the eyes and reconnect with Pranayama in and out of the nose. Being grateful for your practice and taking a moment to acknowledge any other areas in your life that you are grateful for. This is your little check in. Check in with your practice and check in with yourself where you're at today.
to really in, move through your fingers and your toes. And find your way to your favorite side to finish practice. A moment to pause when you get there. And a moment of gratitude. Or your time on your mat. And use your top hand, press on the floor, and slowly come up to seated. And bring your hands at heart center. Take a moment just to bow our head down. Practicing Santosha, finding acceptance for things we cannot change, but ourselves and but others. Bringing our thumbs to the middle of the forehead, Anja Chakra, for intuition, to our mouth and our throat, the Shudra, for speaking our truth, and to our heart, Anahata, for our community connection. Thank you, each and every one of you, for joining me. From my heart to yours. Put a little love in your heart. Namaste. Namaste.